<laughs> so we're going to talk to you about, uh, can everybody hear me if I talk like this? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk to you today about Gay No Vancouver. Um, so, welcome to Vancouver. It's a, uh, oh, we should introduce ourselves. Um, I'm a grad student here. I'm in mechanical engineering and I've been a grad student. I work on my master's for three years uh, this Monday. And Catherine? And I started just a year ago and I'm in the biomedical engineering program and I am uh, from Brampton, Ontario, so I'm not actually from here. Yeah, but I'm actually from around here. I, I grew up here uh, just outside in Richmond, which I'll point out on the map later. So today we're going to break this topic into two halves. I'm going to talk about uh, some practical advice. Uh, I'm going to just give you an overview of the layout, layout of Vancouver, some geography, uh, maybe some bit of advice if you guys are looking for an apartment uh, for housing in Vancouver, and some advice about transportation, buses, biking, uh, how to get around Vancouver. And then I'm going to go over some of the fun things to do in Vancouver. So a lot of, um, based on the recreational activities and sports side at UBC in Vancouver, and then some of the things that you can do around the city. So I want to start off very broad. Uh, so, so looking at a very wide picture, we are looking on the west coast of Canada, um, here, right on the border of the United States. The giant island just off the coast is Vancouver Island. Not to be that's where Victoria, the capital is, uh, not to be confused with Vancouver, where you are right now. And uh, inland uh, is called uh, the Okanagan or um, the Goodies. And Catherine will be talking a bit about that area. It's a nice, nice place if you want to get out of town. Uh, lots of fun stuff to, be, to do out there. And so <coughs> Vancouver is uh, actually, Greater Vancouver is made up of a bunch of different cities that are that all kind of work together. So Vancouver proper is this area here, but we're bordered by Burnaby. Um, also, Vancouver is not to be confused with North Vancouver, which is on the North Coast, or North Shore, and not to be confused with West Vancouver. Uh, also not to be confused with Vancouver West, or the West End of downtown. <laughs> so, there's uh, a lot of things to keep straight. Also not to be confused with Vancouver Island. So, we look we kind of like that. The, uh, there's Richmond, like, which is where the airport is. Uh, south of Richmond is Tawasson, where the, where the ferries are to get to Vancouver Island. And further inland is Surrey, and then Maple Ridge and Port Coquitlam. So you don't really need to know where all these different cities are, but just be aware that there are all these different cities. They're all considered part of Metro Vancouver, Greater Vancouver, and people might talk about them. Then Vancouver itself is also broken up to a bunch of neighborhoods. Again, you don't really need to know all the names of the neighborhoods. You'll get to know them eventually. But it's just good to be aware that when people talk about, oh, I'm from uh, Carousel, or I'm from Kitsilano, uh, these are different neighborhoods. They are kind of bordered. They're different areas in Vancouver. So a couple of uh, good ones to be aware of is Kitsilano. That's where a lot of the good beaches are. Um, also where a lot of students live. Uh, also the Dunbar area is where I live. Uh, and the and Carisdale is also close to the campus, so these are pretty popular places for students to live if you want to be reasonably close to campus. Of course, the further east you go, the less expensive it is, but we'll talk about that in, in a bit. Also, uh, people talk about downtown. Downtown is this area here. It's kind of a little peninsula, and then there's the west end of downtown. And also there is the downtown east side, which there is this really nice uh, tourist spot, uh, Gas Town, which is directly next to the Hastings Street, which is where all the drug addicts are. So just be aware that um, if you go a little too far east, it can get a little bit dangerous, but, it's, but you'll, you'll know when you get there. <laughs> so there's a couple, bunch of online tools that can help you get around town. Uh, Google Maps, I find, is a fantastic tool. And it not only does it just give you good, um, it's, a, it's a nice track map of the city, it also gives you directions, and it also gives you transit directions. So if you put in two uh, points and you select uh, by public transit, it'll give you the best uh, best route by public transit. And I find it's a bit quicker than using the transit website, but the transit website, uh, of course, gives you more information, bus schedules, all that kind of stuff. There's also a online tool exclusively for biking, so biking is a great way to get around town. In fact, a lot of times it's faster to bike than it is to drive, especially during rush hour. So if you're going to be cycling to get around town, this website is a great tool. It, it incorporates uh, Google Maps, but it can use the, it uses the bike routes as well, so it'll suggest that you stay on bike paths as opposed to going on major roads. It'll calculate the incline and how much elevation gain, so it'll help you to avoid really big hills. Vancouver's very hilly, as you'll get to know if you do a lot of biking. 
It'll also calculate your SBA time based on how fast you drive, as opposed to how fast a uh, car travels. So it's a great interactive tool. And then I also mentioned the Translink website. So this is, Translink is the uh, public transit uh, regional transportation authority. They're actually in charge of all the roads as well, but these, this is the uh, corporation that runs all the other transit. So they run the buses, they run the SkyTrain, they run the C bus, and this public transit system works for all of the cities that make up Greater Vancouver. So before when I was talking about Burnaby and Surrey and North Van and West Van and Richmond, uh, all these cities are part of Greater Vancouver and they're all connected by the bus system. And this is all, all the information is on this website, uh, translate.ca. So there are also these handy pull these handy little uh, transit maps. So, on campus, you can get uh, one of these maps for yourself. Actually, I've got a whole bunch if you guys want to get one. So at the end, um, come down and scrap one from the bag if you want to get one. These little uh, handy maps. This is not a transit map. This is actually a, a bicycle route map, but it shows you all the different bicycle routes in, in the city. But there's also the equivalent map that shows all of the different bus routes in the city. And you can get them for free from a couple of different places on campus. So you can get them from the Trek office. Uh, that is a building that is uh, on University Boulevard, it's right between the two bus loops. It is right next to the swimming pool and um, War Memorial Gym. And I can show you on a map if you want to go get one for yourself. You can also get one of the transit maps from the bookstore when you get your U-Pass, which I'll talk about in a minute. And you can also get one of these bike maps. The well, if you don't, if I run out and you can't get one here right now, you can or if you want to just tell your friends, they can get from this uh, Trek office, like I talked about, uh, from Mount Clemens Co-op, which. Uh, yeah, Mount Group Co-op, by the way, great store. Uh, and the Bike Kitchen on campus, which is a bike repair shop, on it, which is in the Student Union building in the summer. So, a uh, bit of practical biking information. Uh, bicycle helmets are mandatory, you have to wear one, you'll get fined if you are riding without one. Also, if you're riding after dark, you have to have lights on the front and back of your bike. I recommend the brighter the better and blinking ones, because that'll help the cars avoid killing you. And if and bike theft in the city is ridiculous, so I really recommend that you get a good beefy lock. And if your bike is the best lock on bike bike on the rack, I wouldn't leave it there. Just, uh, this is a very bike friendly city, and in general, a lot of stores will let you bring your bike in in into the building where you want to go. So that's often a good option. Um, a lot of labs, you can just keep your bike in your in your lab office. It's usually a better idea than leaving it on the bike lock, the bike rack outside. Uh, and I already mentioned Mountain Equipment Co-op, that's a um, outdoor sports equipment store, but they also have a lot of good, cheap uh, bike equipment there, or bike accessories like uh, racks and bags and lights and helmets. The one thing is, they don't have very good locks, so you're better off going to maybe another bike store. There's lots of bike stores around town, and you can find them using Google Maps. So that's, uh, and they'll be better off providing a bike lock. The locks from MEC are not, not so great. Uh, a couple more things about biking. Uh, you're, you are supposed to ride on the road on the sidewalks, and you are considered a, a vehicle like a car, so uh, follow the rules of the road, follow street signs and traffic lights, all that kind of stuff. There are designated bike routes, uh, which are labeled on this map. So these bike routes could just be a bike lane that runs uh, beside the cars. It could also be a traffic calmed street where the car, there's not supposed to be any cars on the road. The only cars on the road would be uh, people who live on that street. So it should be relatively little traffic, and that whole street is just for bikers. And also on these traffic, on these bikers, um, they have signal buttons at the intersection. So that way, when you get to the stoplight, uh, you can push the button and it'll change the light for you, so you don't have to wait, wait around until a car pulls up behind you. And uh, the trans, trans system is quite bike friendly. You can take your bike on the bus. There's a fold down rack at the front of every bus in Vancouver. They can take two bikes. And also, you can take your bike on the SkyTrain. And the only time, the only uh, limitation is on the East-West SkyTrain, the Expo Line and the Millennium Line. Uh, you're usually not supposed to take your bike on during rush hour, so from 